Joining us now, Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman, Senator Lindsey Graham. Um, <laughs> Senator, a lot of this falls now on your shoulders. I see you laughing. Part but, of it. You know, no, this... I've, I've, I've enjoyed. I've enjoyed listening. <laughs> Anything that you heard me say that's wrong? No, I mean, you know, we're not going to try these people on cable television. We're going to put it through the rule of law, right? That's what you want. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what it... Totally agree. Yeah. I believe yeah, okay. in due process, the presumption so of innocence. Absolutely, and you've been consistent on that. Here's what I want to find out. Did they exonerate Clinton because they had a political bias? Did they ignore all the facts because if they indict her, they know she can't beat Trump and they wanted Trump to lose? Uh, was the counterintelligence investigation a backdoor way of spying on Trump? There's real no evidence of working with Russia. They just used it as an excuse. Was the FISA warrant obtained uh, unlawfully based on fraudulent documentation to surveil the campaign. Those are the things that I think you want to know about and I want to know about. What will you do? Tell us the steps that you will okay. take. You will play Great question. a very pivotal role here, sir. First thing I want to do is find out uh, why they got a warrant against Carter Page if the dossier was a bunch of garbage. What did you have beyond the dossier? Why didn't you listen to Bruce Orr? Uh, at the end of the day, how could you use this document that's unverified to this day to get a warrant on four different occasions? I want to find out all about that. I want to know if the uh, email investigation was basically dropped because they had a political bias. I want to know if the counterintelligence investigation, why didn't you warn Trump that you thought the Russians were trying to infiltrate his campaign? Why didn't you yeah, tell him you what you told He's Diane Feinstein? Right. Well, so the reason I think they didn't tell him about the Russians infiltrating his campaign is that they wanted to infiltrate his campaign, not the Russians. All right, Senator, I know that you have a, you know, and, and by the way, there are a lot of good people that have been very helpful in all this and, and Meadows and Jordan and, yeah, and Radcliffe and all these people. You now have the ability to make public and the president will have mm -hmm. the ability to make public the FISA warrants, the 302s, the gang of eight yeah. information. Yeah. And right. these other buckets, the five buckets I always talk yeah, about. Right, How right. important is it that the American people see that besides the Mueller, you know, conclusions? I've been pretty consistent. I said I thought Mueller was the right guy to look into the allegations against President Trump. He was a man of the law. He had a great reputation. And I fought to make sure he could do his job. He has rendered his verdict. There is no collusion. Now it's time to look at how this got off the rails. So what am I going to do? I'm going to use every tool available to me, disclose as much as I can without compromising source and methods to make sure the public understands how their president could be accused of working with a foreign government when there's real no basis in fact. This should scare everybody. Did the investigators, did the prosecutors use the law for political purposes? If that turns out to be true, that is bigger than Watergate. Did they try to take him down after he got elected? Was there a real effort to invoke the was 25th there? Amendment? Looks like well, it. I don't know, Sean, but nobody seems to give a damn but me and you and a few other people. If it had been Republicans hiring Steele to spy on Clinton and they use a dossier prepared by Steele against Clinton associates that was a bunch of political garbage, it'd be front, uh, front page Russian news everywhere. Lies, Senator. Ironically, Russian lies. I think so. I told Trump that. I think the dossier came from Russia. Mr. President, if you think the Russians are just out to help you, uh, they're not. They're out to destroy America, and they're basically Senator, using both campaigns. You really had a moment in the Kavanaugh case. A lot weighs on your investigation, and your pledge tonight is so important to getting to the truth, so this never happens again, sir. Thank you for being with us. Thank you.